Hello everyone, welcome to episode 25 of Glacial Awakening. Today we shall begin by crafting this. I've got quite a bit of marble, as you can see. I also have been just a little bit busy. I got this part of the base mined out. All I gotta do is just continue this out and everything is all mined out. Uh, I did change the uh, look of the glowstone. Uh, I, I kind of, I'm kind of liking that. Uh, I just chose this at random for the stone, but I kind of like that too. So we will see uh, what I decide with. Um, I may not like this if I make it bigger. Who knows? But there's going to be a lot of mining. Going to get all the different ores and such out of the ceiling. Uh, get the floor all patched in and. I've been messing a lot with some chisel and bits, there's some secrets in that chest there, and I'm thinking I might flesh out the walls, I might make them look a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work, but I've already done about three hours of work, maybe four. Three and a half hours of work in that chest, there's not much in that chest. But we are here for this. And, of course, I've got my sooty marble. Um, I got just enough of the sooty marble that we need. There's actually going to be three extras. And for those of you who didn't see the crafting recipe, it is just marble surrounded by a piece of coal, which we just blew up charcoal to get in our combustion chamber. So, easy stuff to get. Uh, the astral tome will tell us exactly how things are supposed to go. And just to make things a bit easier for me. Oh, that's the... Yeah. That's the chisel underneath it. But that's going to be one, two, three, four out on either side. So let's go ahead, get my shovel out, and get that going. So one, two, three, four. This is going to be the slow and grueling part of this multi-block, but every multi-block has its uh, misfortunes. Uh, I'm just glad that the mod pack that added those furnaces back there, back on the other side of that wall, uh, I'm just glad that they gave you the appropriate amount of materials needed, because I remember, I don't know if it's this mod pack specifically or not, but... Uh, uh, usually, it's all like, yeah, we want you to uh, craft 27 of these, but you get four per crafting operation. So, you're going to be wasting, I think, three? It's like a whole extra crafting operation just to have one sitting in some chest somewhere forever. Kind of sad. So, one, two, three... I feel like I should have prepared this part off camera. Ah well, got some actual mining on camera for once. Doesn't happen very often. Or at least I try to make sure it doesn't happen very often. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Oh, you're a very sharp shot and I have no food. Zigzags. Uh, okay. Hopefully he doesn't shoot me off my ladder. Oh, there's a creeper? Why is there a creeper? Why? Okay, I actually don't have any food prepared this time around, so I'm going to have to look for the remnants of whatever's left. Oh, pff, I've got a bunch of raw beef. That's okay, I'll just eat some carrots. Carrots are healthy, right? Just don't have that saturation bonus. Right, let's get some health up. And see about that creeper. Oh, you're gonna blow up. No? Oh! Oh, that was close. Alright, let's see if we can stick around. Kinda. There we go. 
Easy peasy. You know what will help though? Skipping the night. Which I really don't want to do because that's for sorcery. But I don't really have a choice. I don't know what I'm going to do for the wall there. I might. I'm thinking of maybe doing like a glass dome there. Or dome ish type thing. Or even just as simple as just. Ooh. That's still going on. Let's see what we get. Water breathing. How useless. Alright. Uh. Yeah, I might just build a trench, honestly. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll figure it out. And that should be it. One, two, yeah. Alright, so we first need to start off by getting that going. That looks like a 3x3. Three three. Oh, hello, Al. I'm, I'm trying to play the mod pack. Don't need to be interrupting me. Alright. I don't really care too much for the ore there. And then we need two by twos on either side. Or on every corner, rather. There we go. Now. We need. What is that? That looks like bricks. Yes, 24 marble bricks. Alright, so let's grab our chisel. We're going to grab 24 of these. And grab some bricks. Let's see. Are uh, they... Yep. All but the corners. Oh, come on. Thank you. Not you. No thanks to you. Didn't do what I wanted you to do. Alright. And... No. What are you doing? Alright. And then we are going to need eight of the chiseled marble. Yes, these ones. Uh, four of them. In Four of them these corners, and then the other four on top of them, but after, I think, two pillars? And that looks to be marble arcs. I'm going to need 28 of them. That's a lot. Marble arcs. There we go. I need to do something about that. Oh well. Arcs will go along here. You know, part of me wanted to put marble in the floor, but not if I'm putting astral sorcery down here. I'm gonna have to find something else. Alright. Cool. So we got that. Go up, and we just need that, and the pillars. The pillars go up as well. So let's get eight pillars going. pillars and then just because I did look ahead chisel and I think that might be the whole altar not 100% sure let's find out yeah awesome okay um, Special properties that cause it to turn red if the collection structure around the table is incorrect or incomplete. The newly upgraded altar will need to be placed in the center of the marble collection structure with an unobstructed view of the night sky. The crafting materials arranged on the table. The crafting can then be started by right-clicking with the resonating wand. Cool. So this should not be red, of which is not. Awesome. Now I am curious in the in terms of the whole. Uh, unobstructed view of the sky can I put and like the whole wanting to build a glass dome if that's a possibility 
I wonder if glass obstructs that. Obviously, if it turns red, that means it's a no-no. Uh, sand, 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 sand. I'll just do eight. Why not? I just need one for now. And it's going to break a terrible death. All right, come on. Smelt, smelt, smelt. There we go. I still don't know 100% what's going to happen to this base. All I know is it's going to be... The floor is going to be intact, but everything else underneath it is going to be gone. Alright, so directly above it, I can see if it did that. Oh, it didn't do anything. Hmm, interesting. Also interesting. So that does mean I can do some sort of glass. Alright, I'm intrigued. Don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm intrigued. Hmm. I'll, I'll figure something out. It may be just as simple as just making everything flat along here, but I kind of don't want to ruin that aesthetic. I don't know. I'll figure something out. In the meantime, we've got some quests to do. That's not the quest book. This is. So we're on chapter three. We just need to make a lens. Ah, yes. And of course, all of my crafting stuff materials are back here. Well, up there as well. I really need to organize. Either way, let's go ahead and just throw things in here. That'll be good enough. Now let's see here. We need to make a lens which requires another attuned rock. Engraved infused wood, what is that? Infused wood, which is just wood into planks and that's I'll log into Liquid Starlight. That I can do. So let's get some Liquid Starlight. I've got a couple buckets. I'm just gonna set this right here. Yes. Oh, it gives me night vision. Interesting. And we need a log. We can also just go ahead and do this. There we go. And then we can just pop this on Numinous Crafting Table. Does it work? Does it have to be in the Luminous Crafting Table or can it work in here? I would hope it worked in here. does. Okay. So then I just need to resonate it. Ooh. Ooh. That was actually fairly quick. Okay, so I've got those. Uh, have... Uh, Starlight Infusion. Uh, I need to make a Starlight Infuser. That's a bit more pressing. Also need Star Metal. To get Star Metal, I need to smelt Star Metal Ore. Makes sense. Oh, all right. So I need to starlight transmute iron ore. That can just be put in front of a rock crystal, can't it? Hmm. All right. I'm going to have to go look for more of those. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get some more iron going with graphs. Uh, I will be back as soon as that's collected and as soon as it gets nighttime, which it almost is. That way, I can show you 
the process of looking for the ore and how terrible it is. I'll see you then. All right, we are back and we are being followed by several. Oh my gosh, stop. All right, so to get the star metal, we need to go back to the same place we keep having to go back to. Uh, the place with the dang irremovable starlight crystal thing. And we need to put some iron next to it at night and just wait for it to do its thing. Uh, don't get shot. All right. So just like this, we set that down and we wait. No. Something fishy is happening here. Alright, so let's scroll up and check out attunement. This celestial altar. Iron transportation. Focus beam of starlight likely have other uses besides looking pretty and directly impact the world. Focusing the light directly into an iron ore block with a linking tool from a strong source should suffice to test this. Clearing a path to the sky for one of the collector crystals the ancients left in storage at a shrine should provide that source. The iron ore's reaction to the focus light should see a change in its basic makeup after a sufficient time. Linking tool. All right, so I'm gonna go mine some rock crystals. I'll be right back when I have everything for that uh, linking tool. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. We have everything we need to make the linking tool. Let me just... Zoom on over here. So this should be it. That's nah, not enough. All right. So I need that much, which means we need to wait until nighttime. Yay. Well, uh, we also have about what we need for the lens as well. We just need these glass paints. Which the lenses need to be crafted in a luminous with four panes and another aquamarine. That's actually much easier. Let's go do that. Uh, I definitely have a, enough panes over here. So I need eight of them because it wants me to make... I need three. And four makes one, so that's twelve. Done. And then I need two of the aquamarines. Do I have any in there? No? I'll put this in there. Bleh. All right. So I definitely have aquamarines upstairs. I just need to grab them. And just Shh, don't worry about it. All right. Aquamarine is in this chest. No, I'll need three. Five. 
95. Oh boy. And then, boom. I uh, just need it to be night team now. Uh, hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this because up here, this is too many options for them to get in. Definitely need to build a glass dome or something. But it's kind of a little annoying how they constantly just pop up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do this. Hold on. Do something like that. And have it go, say, here. I mean, that'll be enough to get started. See that they they'd be able to jump that. They're persistent little buggers. Uh, and then that needs to be down one. And I'm out of cobble. It's a good thing there's a bunch of cobble in here. Because while we wait for nighttime, might as well take care of that. I don't know why there's such a problem. Alright, so that's one high. Just make it all one high. That's how you take care of them. There we go. This is a quick solution to a problem that shouldn't exist. Let's see, I wanted it to be about yeah. Okay. And then with this, we'll just do that. There. That was easy. Ish. And it isn't even nighttime yet. Fantastic. Yes, hello, Nether. You're being awfully noisy. Alright, well, they'll take a lot of damage if they come down. But that's... something. It's not very pleasing. Alright, you know what? Mm. We'll, we'll skip tonight. We'll be back in a moment. Alright, we're back. It's night time. It's actually been at tame for a little bit, but uh, I actually had to skip a night because I went to make the link and realized uh, this doesn't get up to 50% starlight for some reason. Unsure why, but easy fix. All we got to do is make a couple of these, which we should have the starlight for. Don't see why not. Oh, I see. There we go. So these... just need to be placed next to. So, yeah, there it goes. All right, so let's get this up. It just needs that little bit more. I don't know if... It needs to be like right next to it. on it, maybe? Hmm. I don't 
actually know. Yeah, it wants me to get up to 50%, but it's just not... Interesting. Hold on. Uh, spectral rays. Let's read about them. Here they are. Uh, Phallistic resonator can find fields of intense starlight useful for harnessing starlight energies. The problem is that moving infrastructure or traveling vast distances to harvest to harness the starlight can be impractical. Going further into the secrets of the ancients will undoubtedly require increasing amounts of starlight. And an alternative is in order until you can craft something to directly control collect starlight for yourself. Oh, it's an independent structure. Awesome. So that's what, eight marble, a city marble. Don't know where all of that went, but let's go find it. That's a little unfortunate, but it's fine. So we got our marble and our city marble. Let's go build some mini structures. I'm thinking in the corners. So right in here, we're going to get our little mini structure. Hopefully it doesn't, mm, that's not gonna impact that, is it? Either way, we gotta move quick. So, We need four chiseled, four uh, four chiseled, four arcs, right? Chisel, chiseled arcs, chiseled arcs, and then it's chisel arc. go that's not no it's not okay cool and then this goes on top of it just gonna place that there just because that's not doing anything uh, dedicated to collecting starlight from here should solve the problem a clear view of the sky it's a necessity with better results achieved at night when the relay has been placed high up but close to the altar. Click to focus with a glass lens placed inside of it. Ah, glass lens. Okay. I have a few of those. There we go. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's working. Definitely working. Oh, come on. There we go. So now we've got that, and... I don't know what... Okay. Stop thinking. And let's make the lens real quick. Should be able to make that as well. Alright, and then I'm also going to get a second one of these going as well. Just because... Why not? We've got the stuff for it. We've got, oh, gave us four lenses, nice. Oh, and a quest complete. Uh, so let's look at our quest book. Awesome, no rewards, but next it wants us to make star metal. Place iron ore near one of the lens with a starlight beam, link the lens to the ore. Once starlight hits it, it will transform to star metal ore. With a starlight beam. interesting uh let's take a look scroll out just a little bit head over to transmutation or attunement rather uh 
No? Oh, I was still on exploration. Scroll out. Attunement. Scroll in. Crystal lens. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's see. Shift light to different since the crystal has been used to construct the lens. Impure crystal will most likely occlude starlight passing through the dust of the material has been removed. Hmm. All right, so I will look more into the lens, see if that's an alternative way to make the star metal. If not, then next episode we'll head over to that altar, get the star metal going. Uh, but before we go, let's get the last of this going. That in the middle. Uh, let's chisel the marble up. We need the arcs and we need the chisel. The arcs going to cent oop, the centers, uh, and the chisels going in the corners. Oop. Let's not do that. Arc. Pick this guy up, put him in the middle, and put a lens on him. There we go. We've got a super upgraded altar. Sweet. Uh, but next episode, we are definitely going to take a deeper dive into astral sorcery. Get this metal going. Figure out what's going on. Let's see. Yeah might have to go over to the base but we'll leave that for next episode thank you guys for watching if you liked the video please leave a like if you'd like to see more go ahead and subscribe i am posting these out as often as i can and i cannot wait to show you guys more vassal sorcery and what else that this mod pack has to offer hopefully with the light machine block on the horizon we will be getting into more sophisticated machines and such with AE being one that I am the most excited about. I'll see you guys next time.